I am Charles Denham, Chairman of TMIT and the host of our Global High Performer Webinar Series. We invite you to view this webinar entitled Just Culture, High Impact Case Studies. It is one of more than 110 webinars that we have produced every month for the last nine years. They have delivered more than 200,000 hours of continuing education through Care University found at www.safetyleaders.org. Whether you watch the webinars live or on demand from our website, the slides and references are available for you to download. In this webinar, Just Culture High Impact Case Studies, David Marks, the pioneer of the Just Culture movement, who is both an engineer and attorney, leads us through an application of the Just Culture methodology applied to real-life cases that have been blinded for confidentiality. Our global audience has repeatedly asked for more Just Culture guidance after prior webinars led by David, and they were specifically interested in case studies. In this program, he addresses three core behaviors— three important duties, and the Just Culture algorithm. Case studies are then presented with direct application of the Just Culture algorithm, including typical patient safety accidents. However, other interesting stories, such as housekeeping staff taking certain chances, researchers submitting false information regarding grants, and human resources staff falsifying records to incriminate a caregiver. John Nance, also an attorney, patient safety leader, and best-selling author, provides his very interesting perspective as a reactor. Jenny Dingman, who is a national patient safety advocate, published author, and major contributor to national patient safety standards, provides the voice of the patient and insights as a reactor. We're grateful to have a panel of reactors led by patient safety advocates who will also provide the voice of the patient and family. Dr. Greg Boats, Professor of Anesthesia and Critical Care at MD Anderson Cancer Center, is also an adjunct faculty at Stanford University School of Medicine. He serves as a reactor. Chief Bill Adcox, Chief Security Officer at the MD Anderson Cancer Center and Chief of the University of Texas Health Science Center Police Department, will provide his insights. Keep viewing for more detail about our webinar series. Through a continuous R&D program, we work with a global network of quality leaders to fulfill their critical patient and caregiver safety needs. We build communities of practice whose members will collaborate and participate in an all-teach, all-learn environment. Our learning objectives are always organized by the four A's, awareness of the opportunity for performance improvement, accountability of who should be accountable for new practices or behaviors, ability, what skills or information must enable the improvement and action, what line of sight actions can be taken to generate impact. Learners may receive up to one and a half hours of continuing education credit depending on their professional requirements. We are very blessed to serve such a broad audience. The dedication of our patient advocates who give us the patient voice, the world-class subject matter experts, our reactor panels, our core team, are all truly inspiring. They all contribute their best efforts with no direct or indirect compensation or financial support of any kind from pharmaceutical, device, or service companies in healthcare. The recorded webinars with the slides and resources are available for download at safetyleaders.org with continuing education units issued by Care University. You can also watch them on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash TMIT1.